Hi well, everyone, Stiggs here, another Shogun 2 Total War battle at the Shikugo River. Uh, it's me uh, in yellow at the bottom uh, against 1-1 one, one Sparky 1-1. One, one. I'm just going to call him Sparky from now on. Um, basically, uh, let's analyse this map over here. Uh, we both go for this workshop which increases the armour and melee defence of all units. Uh, if you look at the army composition of Sparky, he has Bow Samurai, Katana Samurai, No Dachi Samurai, his own veteran Katani Samurai. Um, he has his general unit, uh, Yari Ashigaru, and a Cav, which will come out in a second. There they are. He has a Yari Cav, veterans. I have a veteran Yari Cav, veteran light cavalry. Uh, I have two units of Yari Ashigaru, three units of Lone Sword Ashigaru, one is a veteran. I have my general. Digs, obviously, and two bow Ashigaru units. So I set up my cav here just to counter his cav, which moved from his right flank to his left flank. Um, I wanted to counter that to make sure that my two sets of cav that are both veterans can take his Yari cav on. Um, he goes to move a little bit to the right over here, and I didn't like that. I needed my Yari cav ahead of my, my light cav, so that's why I moved. I think he sensed that I was trying to do something, and he will pull back. In a second, um, I basically just formed up, making sure that my light cav weren't so alone. He puts his bow uh, samurai just into this circle over here using fire arrows, and I've put my bow ashigaru just into the circle as well, into his line of sight, into his line of fire, sorry. My general is firing, he's a bow general. So both of my bow ashigaru units are firing. He's only got one range, so I thought at the moment I sort of have the advantage. But he's clumped his units quite together, whereas my Boashgar only beat a little bit is, you know, still quite far away. I've lost one Lone Sword Ashigaru and a couple of my Yaris, but I'm not really worried about my Yaris. Now I move up my units, as you can see here, to the right flank, um, as he tries to move his cavalry um, more left of his. I call it an outside left, trying to sustain this uh, skirmish because I know that I can win this skirmish and as you can see he's with his unit so clumped together I've taken I've taken seven of his bodyguard units out already so I know that I can win this melee fight and inflict real damage onto him if I can just keep his so I can just keep his uh, cavalry in check here but I kind of stupidly move forward here trying to test his resolve to see if he falls back even more and he charges at me I honestly was not prepared for that and he charges at me with his Yari Ashigaru as well and he hitches onto my light cav and I tried to send my Yari cav backwards but you can see here my light cav was more or less taken to pieces and wavered immediately even though they've only lost you know 12 13 men now his guys are losing quite a bit and my morale of my units go down, especially when his Yari joined in, so that's when I pulled both of my units out. You can see here, I've missed this little bit, he's rushed straight in. I'll do is we'll pause it. Hopefully we can just... Uh, we'll just take note of the whole situation here as we are. Now I've... he's rallied his men, and also inspired as well, trying to get the most out of them, because this is all he has. His Katana Samurai, his No Dachi, and his other katana samurai, this is all he has. His bow units are torn to pieces completely. So as you can see, we had two things here going on. We had one the right of the cav, which instigated the whole charge. And we had this left over here, which is really the centre, is what I call it. Now I've had to move my Yari Ashigaru out here to counter his cav. I've done that just as I've noticed that I was going to lose this battle and had to pull my cavalry away. I've moved my bow units back. So my Lone Sword can take on his guys. I do have a Yari Ashigaru unit in there somewhere just to support my guys. So let's just carry on playing. Here's what happens. His guys smash straight into my Yari Ashigaru, which is terrible for him. Now I get my Yari Cav, try and get, hit, them, hit the Yari Ashigaru back, but I think better of it. And what I do quite stupidly here is I just run straight through to get to his Bow Ashigaru that are still firing away. Yep, they are still. Now my guys are wavering, so I pull my general in and use rally. I don't have inspire yet, so I've used rally to try and make sure they're fighting for as long as possible. My Yari can just get through, 
and they're going after his Boashigaru. This is when I select my bodyguard unit, who's down four guys, he's down eight at the moment. I go in, I switch to melee, and I charge, I charge his Yari Cav. Oh, these guys are still fighting away. You know, they're still concerned, but they're wavering a little bit, but they will fight, they will fight to the end, as long as I keep going. My bodyguard here runs back because their Boashigaru has wavered. My cavalry comes in now from the back after waving the Boaf Boashigaru and comes to hit his um, Katana veteran, Katana Samurai. Now his bodyguard is starting to waver simply because I've wave made two of his units waver. And as you can see here, my, my Yari Ashigaru has made his Yari Ashigaru waver. And it's just a massive rout. As soon as I hit his Boashigaru, that was it. His units just started to waver, and it was just a just a colossal waver. I don't understand. I think he had the edge on me when he took out my light cav and got my my main cav down. Um, pinpoint a mistake from him is probably leaving his Boashigaru so far behind, and charging in was excellent. Caught me off guard completely. But I just think that with my units so close together and my my lone sword Ashigarus being able to be so close to my bow guys. I think that's what helped, and I didn't leave my general so far behind as well. I used my general very, very well in looking to support my Yari Cav, who was attacking the Bow Cav and being hit subsequently by his bodyguard unit, and then also coming back. I think I managed to do a full circle with my Yari Cav, going right from the back here, from my left flank, to then to my extreme right, and then going back round to his bows, and then back onto my left flank. So. In Shogun 2 Total War, you're looking to use your cavalry as much as possible. Um, the cav are so nimble and so agile, and you've really got to use them, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why I won this fight. But anyway, good game to Sparky. You know, it was a really good game, quite tough. I thought I was going to lose in the end, but hey-ho, you know, you win some, you lose some. I think I got just a little bit lucky today that I got... Um, I was able to put my rally in just at the last second before my units completely wavered. So, good game.